Hello, it's Dan DeLuca here, and you can find more about me and at my blog at dandeluca.com. Today I'm talking about three important critical features of the foundation of a solid online business. You've got to have these three things if you want to be successful, and successful in the long term especially. So the first thing is you got to focus on one way that you're going to get your message out there. So if you're online these days, there are so many things to do from blogging, which is kind of the thing that's been around for the longest, to um, any of the social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, what, Google Plus, I think that's still around, YouTube video marketing. There are so many ways to get the word out. And you want to pick the one that you, you want to look at what's going to resonate with you. What Not necessarily what are you comfortable with because, you know, our comfort zone keeps us kind of stuck. So you might want to have to pick something that's a little bit less comfortable, like making a video, if you, even if you don't want to. Or, um, you know, another another thing that isn't dead is newsletter marketing, email marketing. You know, having a newsletter. I have a newsletter. And it's not my focus, and it is a great way to to stay in touch with folks. I have a pretty good open rate. I've taken some courses in how to write headlines and how to write a newsletter that is actually valuable for people. But, you know, you have to learn how to do this stuff. So once you pick something that you like, learn how to use it, like master it, like really master it. And I don't mean just take a course and then think you're done. Take a course and then actually do the stuff that's in the course, put it into action, experiment a little bit, Learn, keep learning. Not, one course isn't going to be enough. You know, I took an email marketing course from one of my mentors, Diane Hockman. Well, I've also been reading about uh, a number of books and looking at articles from Dan Kennedy, the master of direct mail marketing. And you know, the cool thing is if you subscribe to his newsletter, you'll start to get his newsletter, obviously, and yes, I read the contents, but more importantly, I look at the format, like what's he doing there? What is the person that wrote that email actually doing, you know, the kind of the, the meta, the big picture, like how are they getting me interested and excited? What are the words they're using? There's And there's a number, I'm trying to think of now, there's another, uh, there's a bunch of places where you can just subscribe to a newsletter and then read it, not necessarily for the content, not necessarily to buy their stuff, although that might be a good idea, but to learn from how they're doing it. Because if these successful people, if this is what successful people are doing, well, these are the clues that they're leaving for you. So definitely constantly learn about whatever social media you want to use. If it's Facebook marketing, find somebody that's really successful, a big name, and see what are they doing on their profile? What are they doing on their fan page? What kind of posts do they put? Do they respond to comments? Do they interact? You know, who? how, how often do they post like that? Twitter, same thing. Look at some of the people that are big names out there and see what they're doing and then copy it. Make it your own, but model it more than copy it. So that's the first key to having a foundation that will be solid, that will keep you successful and going over the long term, because this is the long term proposition. We're not in this to get rich quick, and we're not looking for people that are get rich quickers necessarily, because those folks tend to come and go. And I talked about that a little bit more in a previous video. So the second component. Once you've got this channel where you're actually putting out content, you have to build your value. You have to, because we get paid for the value that we provide. Okay? It doesn't matter how much time you spend online, really. I mean, yes, that, okay, I take that back. The more time you can spend online, that's good, as long as you're providing value. You have to be providing value. What do I mean by value? I mean, information that people can use to help them solve a problem. We are problem solvers. If you're just telling me about how great your product is, this is the best jungle juice out there, and you're going to be strong and healthy, 
from eating, from drinking this jungle, ju jungle juice, okay, mm, that doesn't, for me personally, that doesn't do it. You have to give me some real benefits or you have to tell me like this ingredient, this super cool ingredient, you know, it's got kale juice in it. It's got 10,000 grams of kale juice and kale juice is a superfood. Kale juice will, you know, build your muscles or build your bones or help you think fit, think better. Um, like that. You have to give me a benefit. There's a feature and then there's the benefit, right? So this is providing value. Even if you tell me, well, you'll, you can, you can create a lifetime income from this stuff. How many ads do you see out there where people are saying that exact same thing? Create a lifetime income, create an income instantly. That's not enough for me anymore. I mean, we are bombarded with that kind of stuff. How are you going to stand out from the crowd? How are you going to get a leg up? Two ways. Provide value and be yourself. Provide that value in your own way by making a video, using your voice, getting your face out there. Some people aren't going to like you. They're not going to like the sound of your voice or the way you look. Fine. There's plenty of people that will. There's billions of people out there on Facebook. You will find the people that are looking for you. So that's the second component is continue to, when you spend your time online, spend your time providing value, helping people solve problems. So the third component is you must take action. Take action on your value by telling that story of how whatever it is that you're promoting, whatever you're providing helped you get from where you were to where you are now. So you want to tell your story and there's actually a format to telling your story and the way that you're going to get that format one way is by clicking at uh, on the notification up there. I think it's up in that corner and turn on notifications from my live feed. There's a little down arrow. It's kind of faint on Facebook on this post. Click that down arrow and turn on notifications for my live feed because later today I will be doing another video, a live video on the format of how to tell your video story in a way that it doesn't take a lot of time, two, three minutes, and it will grab people's attention and have them wanting to know more, having them fill out your opt-in form basically. And then I know I said this was three things. Here's the fourth thing. Bonus. Bonus for you guys, okay? Get a mentor or a coach. Get a coach. I've just recently started working with a coach one-on-one. -on -one. And in the six days since I spoke with my coach, no, actually it's been seven days now, I've been getting more leads, I've been having more engagement, and I'm making a difference with more people doing what my coach told me to do. And, you know, the dirty little secret for me is all, everything he told me to do, I have been do, I've done, but not as much. I've done, but not consistently. So more action consistently is really get, starting to get me the results that I've been looking for for a long time. So find a coach and do what they tell you to do. Be coachable. And for you all out there, if you're looking for a coach, check me out. I do coaching as well. So visit my blog at dandeluca.com and go to the Contact Me page, or actually go to the Work With Me page at dandeluca.com and fill out my little application and we can talk about you getting some coaching. I have some really economical ways that you can work with me directly. And if that's not enough, and I know this is going to be backwards, subscribe to my newsletter, dandeluca.com slash newsletter. I know it's backwards. I'm working on getting it uh, the right way. So you can get more tips from my business builder newsletter by subscribing at dandeluca.com slash newsletter. Go there now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys at the top.